Hello and welcome to another video on the scripting tutorial channel. Today we're going to be looking at Mongo SK and saving variables onto a database. So let's get right into it. What are the actual advantages of using Mongo? So first off, it doesn't save data onto the server. It saves it externally. Uh, this is great for small servers if you don't have a lot of memory or room. The data can be organized, for example, a player document and the player attributes, for example, coins or time played. Data can also be represented visually through the website and the data can be easily accessed from other places, for example, a Discord bot or an API. It just makes development way more simple. So firstly, we are going to need an add-on called Mongo SK. So make sure you have that installed. And now we also want to head over to the MongoDB website. This is where you can create your database and view the database visually. So we want to build a database and we can create the free one, which does have limited space, but it is more than enough. And you can change the cluster name, but we don't really need that. So once that's created, we want to create a username and password. So to make it simple, we're just going to do admin and admin on the create the user. Ignore once you have an API that's from another time. So, and then we want to do finish and close. Go to database. So it may take a few minutes for your cluster, which is the database, to be created. So once your cluster is created, you can mess about in there. We have our file. I just named it Mongo SK. And this is the first line of code we're going to need. On script load set my we'll just it can be really anything but we're just going to make it easy we're just going to do mongo cluster so to server with string so now we need to get this connection string what is that if you go back onto this page and hit connect connect your application and just copy this then go back and paste that in so we are going to have to change some things here username remember we created that earlier admin admin uh, we don't need to change any of that. We do need to change my first database. And I believe that is everything. And now we want over we want to go over to collections. We want to click add my own data. So this is where we create the database name. So we're gonna do we're just gonna name it database and collection. So within a database you can have multiple collections, but we're not gonna get in we don't need to do that, so we're just gonna name it collection. Create. So now we go back to our code set mongo database to mongo database and then the name of that database which we called database of mongo cluster or mongo server variable we also want to do set mongo collection to mongo collection and what do we name it we named it collection of mongo database so this is the basics of every Mongo, of all the Mongo code. You need this every single time. So now that we've connected the Mongo, we actually want to add data to our collection. So the first thing we're actually going to do is on join, we're going to create a document for them. And also keep in mind, you're going to want to add checks. If they already have a document, you don't want to create a new document. So add checks. So whenever that we join, we're going to do set doc to a new Mongo document. Now we can actually add things. So set value messages of doc to zero. We're going to want to do set value UUID of doc to UUID. So we can uniquely identify the document. It's actually set Mongo value. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about this. We need to do insert Mongo document doc into collection and then our collection which is Mongo Collection. Oh my God, there it is, finally. Uh, <laughs> so I had to change a few things. Up here, I think I'd written cluster zero, but that's actually the database name. And I also spelt database here wrong earlier. Hopefully in the edit, I'll have said that, but God, that took a while to find. So now in our collection, we have an object ID. It just does that by, def by default, we don't need that. We have a UUID, which is my player UUID. And messages. Now we want to do on chat add one to player ID uh, messages. It's, it, that's self-explanatory. So now when we do command update trigger, instead of creating a new Mongo document, we want to search for a Mongo document that mat that where the UUID matches the player's UUID. So set doc to the first Mongo with Mongo that's okay. M1 filter where UUID of collection Mongo collection. So 
now you want to really just do the same set mongo value messages of doc to and then this variable and now we just want to do update mongo document doc of mongo collection sorry where field or field uid and you also need to remove the i have the there you, c you can't have the to first mongo document we're mo with mongo sk filter we're field so now if we type and then do slash update now go back and hit refresh please be three three perfect and finally what if we want to get data from here back in game where we're going to so we're going to create a new command called my messages trigger and we want to use the same line we want to find we want to find the same document set my messages to mongo value uh messages of doc and then we just we'll do we'll just broadcast it my messages three so this video was a lot longer than usual and I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe for more.